Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to everyone. My name is Amir Shamil bin Sheikh Alauddin and today I'm going to present about programming and scratch. Let's start. To begin, what is programming? Programming is a process of creating a set of instructions that tell a computer how to perform a task. Programming needs coding to run a task. Coding converts the language we understand into commands for the machine. There are two types of codes, which are text codes and block codes. Text codes are codes that are written on a page on a computer. They are written in various languages, such as JavaScript, c -sharp, HTML and more. Block codes consist of blocks with puzzle piece shapes that are used to create codes. The blocks connect to each other vertically like a jigsaw puzzle, but each data type has its own shape and a specially shaped slot for it to be inserted into, which prevents syntax errors. Basically, block codes are simpler as you don't need to write the code. In this video, we are going to specifically talk about block code. Scratch is a free block programming language developed by MIT that makes it easy to create interactive stories, animations, games, and more. Scratch can run from within a modern web browser or download it as an app. Let's see the features in Scratch. So, this is the workspace in Scratch. Scripts area is where you attach your blocks of code. A sprite is an image which is set as an object or character to follow codes that you attach. You can change the look of existing sprites and create new sprites. This is the codes menu. This is where you drag in and delete blocks of code. This is the stage or output. This is where your blocks of code will run the program that you made. Let's try making a simple program in Scratch. Let's go to events and click the win flag clicks block. Attach it to the skips area like this. Then go to motion and attach the move 10 steps block under the win flag clicks block. You'll notice that if you drag the win flag clicks block again, both of them can't be separated. That means the code is combined together. It is as simple as that. Click the green flag above your output area to test the code. You can see that the cat sprite is moving forward on its direction. So that was a simple code. When we keep on clicking the green flag, the cat moves according to its last position and it doesn't reset to its original coordinates. You have to set it so we can reset the position of the cat. Let's also create a code that can control the cat. I am going to create a code to reset the position of the sprite. I want my cat to reset its position when I click the sprite. So, attach the when this sprite clicked block from events to the scripts area. Then, attach the go to x and y block from motion under the when this sprite clicked block. Set the x and y coordinates to 0. x and y are coordinates to define a specific location. Test it out by clicking the green flag. The sprite will move 10 steps and when you click the cat, it will go back to 0, 0, which is the original location of the sprite. Now, I'm going to build a code so that the sprite can move forward on our control. First of all, let's remove the move block. Drag it back to the codes menu. It is really simple. Go to control and attach a forever statement under the when flag clicked block. This block will repeat the code inside this block forever or until the red octagon is clicked. Click the if statement and drag it inside the forever statement. Go to sensing and drag the key space press variable and attach it to the variable bar of the if statement. If we press space bar, our cat will move forward. I want my cat to go forward and I press the up arrow. So click the space text and click the up arrow text in the menu. Attach the move 10 steps block from motion in the if statement. This will make sure your cat moves forward. Let's also add the next costume block in looks. This will show an animation of our sprite when you press the up arrow. The cat should also move forward. Test it out by clicking the green flag. This shows how easy you can make your own animation or game in Scratch. You can make it as you want it based on your imagination. Let me show you an example of one of my games. Watch my gameplay of my game to find out. Enjoy! It is an endless zombie shooter game. You have 4 weapons or equipment which has its own recoil, speed, uses and damage. There are several types of zombies which have their own speed, size and spawn rate. There are also 2 wave bosses which are in wave. 
that's it for this video. Hopefully you get something educational from it. Good luck coders, thanks for watching.